and welcome to Funk. Today is Friday, October 18th, 2019. I'm Annalise. And I'm Dan. The weather for today will be mostly sunny with a high of 70 and a low of 47. Visiting poet David Kirby, who teaches at Florida State University, will be reading from his new book of poetry, More Than This, today from 4 to 5 p.m. in McEachern Lecture, Lecture Hall. The Art Department's Passages event will be happening today from 6 to 7 p.m. in the Rowe Art Building Gallery. Passages is in an exhibition where ceramic artists have come together to form a show that demonstrates techniques and abilities that have been passed down through the ceramic department at Furman. Furman Jazz Ensemble and Combos will be hosting their CLP Fall Concert today at 8 p.m. in Daniel Recital Hall. The performance is open to the public and admission is $5. Help from an environmental action group and help clean up the Upper Saluda River on Sunday morning from 8.30 a.m. to noon. This cleanup effort will meet at Burger King between Gear Highway and Highway 288. Lunch will be provided to those who help. And now it's time for our Furman Sports Recap. Women's soccer takes on Wofford at home today at 7 p.m. at the Eugene Stone Soccer Stadium. There will be free dinner outside the stadium provided by Furman Housing starting at 6, so stop on by. Women's volleyball will take on Mercer at home tonight at 6 p.m. in the Furman Volleyball Complex. The football team takes on the Citadel tomorrow at 1 p.m. at the Paladin Stadium for this year's homecoming game. Stop by the Trone front desk anytime today to pick up a button to help cheer on our Paladins. Men's soccer will be hosting the visiting UNC Greensboro at home on Tuesday at 7 p.m. in the Eugene Stone Soccer Stadium. And now for this week in the news. This week in the news, swastikas and other hateful symbols were drawn onto Blackwell dorm walls over fall break. If you would like to talk about this incident or bring up any other issues of bias, please contact Furman's Chief Diversity Officer, Michael Jennings. President Trump is planning on hosting this year's G7 Summit of World Leaders at his private resort in Miami, reminding voters of his contentious decision to remain firmly in charge of many of his business dealings while serving in office. A powerful bomb cyclone weather event is once again rocking New England. Many northeastern states are being hit with wind gusts up to 90 miles per hour, leaving 500,000 Americans without power. The United Kingdom and the European Union agreed on a new Brexit deal yesterday. The next step is a vote in the UK Parliament, which many anticipate will be the closest Brexit-related agenda to date. That's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to check out our website, www.cantstopthefunk.com, to submit announcements and watch all of our previous episodes. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and download the Funk mobile app to keep up with everything that's happening on Furman's campus. Have a happy homecoming, and tune in again on Monday for our next episode.